What's up everybody, ZipZap12 here bringing you back to another episode of Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Storm 4 Beginner to Master Tutorials. If you guys have never heard of Beginner Master Tutorials, this is basically choose one character out of the whole roster. I tell you guys everything I know about that single character. And the character we're actually going to be doing today is Masked Man. And the only reason I'm doing Masked Man is because you guys have been requesting this character for quite a while. A lot of you guys want to see Masked Man. And I actually, I don't blame you guys but Mass Man is a very fun character but Mass Man is pretty much one of those characters where at first glance he's not actually fun he's kind of boring but once you actually start to get to know one know his powers and everything then he starts to become really fun that's his that's his type of character so this character's playstyle is more of the defensive and advanced side of things so if you want easy character this is not the character for you he's more of like the the harder, more difficult characters like Haku and Chiyo and uh, Gara. Well, I don't want to say Gara is that hard, but still, he's one more of the advanced characters. So, yeah. So, if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe for more Beat Master tutorials. Make sure you tell me what else you're going to do for the very next episode. But, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so, as I said before, Masked Man is a little bit more on the defensive playstyle. He really doesn't output that much damage, and most of the stuff is kind of tricky. I put it that way, yeah. Most of the stuff is kind of tricky. So, like, his tilt, his growl, his jutsu, his, pretty much his whole moveset is kind of tricky. So, you're going to rely on these tricks to kind of, uh... Flip of your opponent pretty much. So I'm gonna get to it later, but uh, let me turn all this stuff on so we can get started. Storm gauge, shock gauge, uh, get right, yeah. Okay, good. All right, so let's just go on with this combos first. Let's do the neutral combo. Let's look at it for a little second. There we go. Let's go with the down combo. Heal up a little bit. There we go. There we go, and let's go with the up combo, along with the air combo. And you rebound out of it. Alright, so there we go. So now we got now we've looked through all this stuff. So let's actually talk about it, some of this combo. So let's go to the neutral combo first. The neutral combo, as you can see, uh, pretty much all his combos actually are actually quite long. They're actually quite long for I think a full combo is probably about close to two or three seconds it is probably close to two or three seconds but he does if you get the whole combo off he does output a lot of damage but because it has a lot of time to it it's actually not that good because usually short uh powerful combos are the most powerful combos in the entire game whether that's long powerful combos are kind of medium or just the weakest combos because why would you want to do a combo that's very long even though it's very powerful but it just takes a long time to output it so mass man um, does not have the best damage per second of all of like some of these characters. It's, it's kind of weak on that side. But neutral combo is very long. It does go into the strike back. So there's there's that. So pretty much neutral combo is just an average combo. Um, I wouldn't recommend you using it too much unless um, you know you got strike back. I, I wouldn't recommend you using it too much. Now let's go with the down combo. So the down combo is indeed his most powerful combo, like always. It is indeed his most powerful combo. So. Uh, around the time it uh, it takes to finish with the combo, I will play about the same amount of time as the neutral combo. So uh, I just I just use the neutral combo, not neutral combo. I use the down combo more often, just because it takes the same amount of time. Except you do the down combo uh, more because it does more damage. So just you just use the down combo. But unless you have a strike back, then you just do the, the neutral combo. All right, and. Also, one other thing, and I don't think a lot of people know about this with Mass Man, but he actually does have an infinite combo. So you don't want infinite combo. This is just pretty much just a combo that you can just loop infinitely by doing, by jump canceling, or just by doing something to uh, extend it. So with Mass Man, it's kind of different than most um, infinite combos. So let me just show you first. Just like that. So, so Mass Man. Technically, he does have an infinite combo if you use the stun to actually stop his combo instead of jump canceling. Because a lot of people usually, or a lot of characters, see jump cancel instead of uh, um, um, countering. But in this case, Maxman has to counter because he actually can't jump cancel out of the last hit of his down combo. 
So yeah, you're gonna have to do this, but this is actually pretty useful too because if this is um, very good if you really want to punish and you can really get off a lot of damage by doing two, two down combos. Look how much damage she does. Yeah, if, if you really want to punish, like let, let's say Narc has no subs, you can use two down combos by extending it with the infinite combo and then you can get almost around probably 60 or 70 percent damage as, as you just saw right now so and just something to know i had to learn this by myself it's actually pretty useful because i don't think anyone knows about this infinite combo i guess you could say let's go with the up combo the up combo does actually have something special with it so the up combo is pretty much just generic up combo except right there right before the last hit he kind of flips him up a little bit with this, you can actually just use this to cancel into your um, um, garbage, garbage skill. Just like that, your garbage pill. There you go, I said garbage skill. Garbage pill, yeah. So this is actually very perfect because it actually leads them up in the air, allowing them to not rebound and not do any jutsu or jump out of it at all. So this is actually pretty perfect for for um, uh, uh, a, a, a guard break pill. So this is actually really perfect. So I recommend you do this just in case you want to get a little bit of damage off or if the opponent is just not subbing, then you just want to make one do this because this is actually very perfect. There we go, just like that. Now let's go into this air combo. So this air combo is trash. It is actually trash. It has a little hitbox. It is very slow and it's hard to dash out of. I recommend you guys not doing this air combo at all unless you absolutely, absolutely have to do it. Otherwise, it's kind of trash and it's, it's just really bad. Like, it's slow. It, you gotta it take a lot of time to get out of it and the opponent may just sub behind you and get you before you can chop or dash out of it. That's how bad this is. So, I just need to don't use it at all. Now let's go into his tilt and his grab. So this is another one of his abilities where he shines at. So let's actually go with the grab first because I feel this is a way just more fun to do. So first let me just grab and get on his corner. Alright, that put him pretty much right back in the corner. Alright, so his grab as you just saw, he actually, this grab he actually goes in a little bit, like a lot. Um, <laughs> this is why I love this grab because he actually has a lasting hitbox. So. As long as he is in the animation, he's in. He can grab them pretty much, and it goes so freaking far that it's it really is just good. It's, it's just a good grab that just goes really good. So, um, yeah, if you if you got the distance, I would say just use this grab because this grab is really good just because of the range, the horizontal distance that you have between you and your opponents is really good. But the grab cancel I recommend you I have you guys today is just put on the block because it should be the first three hits. One, two, three. There you go. There you go. So pretty much uh because of the grab has a long range, you can pretty much just cancel the grab into any of these combos, but I recommend you recommend you do it to the first three hits where he does this little shoulder charge. Right there. Just because it's quick enough to see the opponents and it's also uh, very quick to hurry up and get some damage off before they have enough time to sub. So that's what I recommend, but you can use any of his combos because they're they're pretty much all just linked up together. So you can use the up combo if you wanted to. Like that. You know, anything you want, but I recommend you do the, the first three hits. So just kind of spam this grab out if you can because uh, it's a really good grab. Like this is one of the one of those grabs where it's just really good. It's like a pain, Gara. Uh, who else is a good grab? Uh, you know, I really, really long, good, good reaching grabs. Alright, let's go on to his tilt. So his tilt is actually really good. Not to watch me fish again. Just take a guard off. Alright. Alright, so his tilt is, um, pretty much he throws this long chain, and if you press the attack button again, you can actually tumble behind them and then throw five paper bombs behind the opponents. Now, um, this is not punishable. Um, if they, as well. Yeah, I don't think it's punishable because you can come up right after. So if you get, if you get the second hit off and they sub it, it, it's not punishable because you can still guard instantly right after it. So it's not punishable. So that means it's, it's really just a free attack you can get off. So here's I recommend how you use it um, because of the uh, pretty much the long hitbox of this tilt. This tilt. 
is pretty long. It's, it's pretty good because of the range. It's, it's really good. Look at I'm hitting Naruto from mid range. Look at this crap. Like this is actually long. So yeah, I recommend just kind of using this tilt as a mid range tilt most of the time because it will hit the opponent too. And uh, even if they do block, it pushes them back pretty far, allowing you to switch your characters. Let me show you an example. Let's get Naruto out of this corner for a second. There we go. And let's actually put Naruto's guard on. So let's say Naruto's guarding, and let's say he bumped to my chakra. He bumped to me member. He chakra dashed into my guard. I instantly retire with the tilt, and then switch to another character to get some other stuff off. So let me turn the time. So like this, just like that. So instantly I have the advantage there. So you can use that with any of these characters like that. Okay, Naruto, why are you putting your guard down? What's wrong with you today? But yeah, that's just one example. So like right. So you can use it to push the opponent back and then switch another character and then get some guard damage off with that other character. So yeah, that's one way of using it. The other way of using it is pretty much um pretty much if they get hit by it. So let's let's say if they do get hit by the attack, then you literally just have a free attack and you can switch out to another character to continue their combo. Like this. Just like that. That was, that was perfect like just like that so you can actually switch to a different character to do something else so let's say i can do this to Shimadra, and then use the fire style fire blood jutsu right after to get some distance so this is actually kind of you can use it defensively you can use this to attack most of the time but most of the time you're going to use it to defense like defense is your primary use for this thing or to switch out to another character so that's just one that's just like two, a couple ways to use this so you're going to get a little bit creative on your own to uh, learn how to use it by yourself, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Like there's almost no wrong way to use this tilt besides just using it out far range. But just kind of just try to hit the opponent and then try to switch try to switch it up to s some other characters. So like this. Uh, let's let's work like this. Oh, let me, let me get a little bit closer. There we go. Got it. So because I know Modern has a long grab, I can actually just use um, the tilt of Mass Man. Uh, took off Masked Man and then switch instantly to Madara because he's not just still caught in the hit stun. So that's just another way to use it. So you're going to get a little bit creative with the skill, but it, this is a really good skill and I, it, you gotta really use it. You gotta really use it. I was going to his Jutsu. So his ordinary Jutsu he has is the Heaven and Earth Explosion Burial. So this Jutsu is just he dashes halfway across the screen and Paper Bombs, I do believe you are invincible while you are in combo form. You are invincible into this whole Jutsu, I believe. You do almost no damage, sadly. Like, you do no damage, not even burning damage, actually. You just kind of sucks, actually. And I do believe there is no combo potential. Like, there is no competition whatsoever unless you switch out. But by to but not, not to totally, but by Obito Mass Man, excuse me, by Mass Man himself, he does get nothing off, no competition whatsoever. So this, I ain't gonna lie, this just kind of sucks. It kind of sucks, just because you, you can't combo anything after it. It does no damage. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of terrible, and the is you can obviously see it coming. Obviously, so it's super telegraphed. So it's, it it kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie, but the only way to use it, at least by my standards. Is using it as support most of the time because as support is pretty good for getting out. Like this is your main get out, like, your main getaway card, pretty much. So let's say you're fighting Naruto, you can summon this and then switch, and then switch the um, mass man and get out. That's the only way I see using this because otherwise it's kind of trash by itself using mass man. So only use this to get out of a situation. That's why I said Mass Man is more of a defense character because this juice is kind of trash. It's really trash, but it's not bad. Like it, it, it can still be used to get out situation and get far distance. So let's say Naruto, you're fighting Naruto right now. You can actually just use your um jutsu, get out, and then switch to another character, and then just keep on going back and getting out. But other than that, it's it's kind of trash. Other by using that support or just getting out. It's, it's kind of trash. 
Yeah, that's, that's yeah. It's, it's just trash. <laughs> just trash. But let's go into this ultra juicy cancel. So this ultra juicy cancel is actually very simple. Uh, let me put this one right here. So I believe Massman has like three ultra juicy cancels that he has. I'm just gonna show you the easiest one for me. Um, the easiest one is pretty much just he does that little shoulder charge. Wait, let me do it one more time. One, two. There we go. There we go. Dang, Toby. You're so strong you can. Not Toby. Obito. You're so freaking strong you can command the Nine Tails with your Sharding Gun. Amazing. But yeah, that's just the. Uh, um, I think Obito has like two more Ultra Juices, but Ultra Juice cancels. But this is the easiest one for me. It's, it's, it's telegraphed as well. So just use the, uh, the Shoulder Shark right there and cancels. But he has, he has like way more. I know he has like two, two more, three more. So just yeah, just it's just yeah, it's it's pretty easy. All right, so right before we go into the wave, I'm actually gonna go into the uh, um, character select screen and actually get his other juice. So I'll be right back. All right, so now I am back with um Toby, not Toby. I keep calling him Toby. Max Man's Ultimate Jutsu, which is a fire style fireball jutsu. So the first, so pretty much we all know what the first type of what you do is. It's just a basic projectile that does some damage, including brain damage that gets off around what is that, 30%? Yeah, that's around 30% right there. So with this jutsu, um, pretty much with Max Man, it's better for him in every single way because uh, yeah, the Heaven and the Earth burial jutsu is is really trash unless you're using as support. Which is still pretty okay, but not good. So yeah, the fire stuff from Juice is pretty much um, Mass Man's way of being on the offensive. You have range, you have a strike back, and you also have a combo cancel for your other um, not combo cancel. You also have a combo extension for your other combos. And I'm just, I'm actually gonna show you this right now. So. This is includes the up combo. This, you use the fire stuff from Juice to actually extend your combos to get more damage off. Let me show you. Oh, messed up. One more time. Just like that. So with burning damage, with the strike back, it is over 50%. It's still going because of the brain damage. So yeah. So what you got? What you gotta do with this is you gotta do the up combo. And right before the last hit, you want to dash out like this, and then press your jutsu. But, but you gotta do it really quick. So it takes a bit of practice. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to do. So let me show you one more time in slow motion and one more time in fast motion. So I mean, well, I can just do it. All right. Put your card down. All right, so slow motion. There you go. So it's just like that. So pretty much, I pretty much do what you gotta do in slow motion. You do the combo right before the last hit. Dash out and then use the jutsu. Now you gotta do. I go really fast this time. So let me go really fast. There we go. But it, this will take a couple of tries. So yeah, you may want to practice at this first before you uh, uh, use it out in battle. Like, kind of get the hang of it because it does take a, a bit of a learning curve to do. But it's it's it's, it's easy. To get the hang of that. But yeah, that what with this juice that goes around a, above 50%, which is pretty good. Like two infinite combos won't even do that. So yeah, if this is a really punishable combo, so let me try doing. Actually, let me try doing an infinite combo, then do the. the up combo with the fire stuff from Jutsu. So let me see how much damage can get off. Dang. So with those two, with the down combo, that's an infinite combo. With and also punishing with my up combo with the fire stuff from Jutsu, I get off a whole bar. Wow. Now, that's actually a punish right there. So if you really want to punish your opponent, use the down combo, use the infinite combo, then use the up combo along with the fire style fire, but you to get off a whole bar. That's pretty good. That's 
that's pretty good. So yeah, um, if you want to use more of the offensive side, use the Fire Sapphire Fire Brojutsu. If you want to use more of the defensive support type of um, support type of Jutsu, then use the um, um, Heaven and Earth um, Explosion Burial Jutsu. But I highly recommend, I had really highly recommend you use the Fire Sapphire Fire Brojutsu because it's better than it is. It's just better in my opinion. It's just way better. I'm just sorry. It's way better. Let's go on to Massman's ultimate form. So, Massman pretty much just has the same move set, same down combo, same grab, same tilt, just more damage. But, as you can see, the bottom left, he has two um, left and right triggers, which is right trigger, well, actually the same thing. So, his left trigger and right trigger is the transportation technique, which is pretty much just a combo. Um, you can really just pass through anything. You can pass through shields, pass through, um, um, it just pretty makes you invincible. It, you, it just makes you invincible. You can pass through Naruto, you can pass through Fire Stuff, Fire GC, you can pass through any projectile. It's pretty much just a free, um, stuff, pretty much, I would say. Listen, you fight Naruto, you transition technique, and he can't touch you. He literally can't touch you. And a, a, a tick, uh, not a technique, but a thing I usually do when I'm in Awakening form, because I love the Kamui a lot, especially this Awakening Kamui. Uh, whenever I turn to Trinity Technique, I easily just grab them because the grab is so fast and long too. So it's like a free grab. So I'm hit a fight Naruto, Trinity Technique, go behind them and then grab them. It's just so fun to do. It's so fun, but pretty much with your left and right triggers, it gives you hacks. It pretty much gives you invulnerability, and uh, it's you get it's pretty much an extra sub every around three seconds that's that's the um, cooldown time I believe every three seconds is a free sub so yeah that yeah it, it's pretty much it yeah that's all it is it's just a free sub and pretty much you just gotta play smart and play like you're playing math man without waiting just play smart and try to get as much damage as you can and the transition technique just the transportation technique just uh, saves the sub that's pretty much it now let's see the maximum damage Toby can, not Toby, Ma Max Man can pull off. So I'm gonna do the same combo that I did before, but this time I'm gonna do it in Awakening State. And let's see how much damage I can get off. Let's see. Oh, I actually forgot. So instead of using your counter, you can actually use one of your transportation techniques to cancel your down combo. I actually forgot about that. Let me try it. No. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Hold on. Wait. I did not mean to do a kill. One more time. Oh, I messed up the fire style. Wow. I'm trash. All right. Let's do it one more time. Boom, boom, boom. Got it. How much damage are you getting off? It's definitely more than the bar. The burning damage is still going, and uh, felt like a bar in five percent. So with a maximum damage off, with you're really punishing with it, um, the maximum damage you can get off with the fire stuff I is around one hundred and five percent, which is pretty freaking good. You know, compared to some some of these other awakenings that only get off around thirty or fifty percent with a one combo, this is pretty good. So. Yeah, just play him as a regular character. Just have fun with him. Just have fun. Just have fun and just 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 play like this. Just play Master Man. <laughs> just play Master Man. So this one, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna re retry and not, not retry, but I'm gonna reset and actually give you the general strategy to use with Master Man. So I'll be right back. All right. So pretty much the general strategy with Master Man is um, see this. See, it's weird because there's actually two ways to play him, and that just kind of just depends on the person that's playing Mass Man. You can play him really offensively, or you can play him really defensively. So that's pretty much two ways to have play, how to play him. I like to play him defensively because he, I feel like he's better in that category, but you can play him at offensively as well. So, the offensive playstyle is pretty much you're just going in as a rushdown character. But because you have a lot of tricks up your sleeve, you can use those to uh, kind of just weave your way around the opponent. So let's say this. So let's say use this, switch your character, and then go in again. 
back to Toby. Not Toby, but you know Math Man. And then really just punish. Well not punish, but we kinda of just don't want you kinda of just wanna go in with Toby, which is which is keep using his grab, keep using his tilt to push you back, and you just keep going in. It still it still takes a lot of skill to do. Just a lot of skill to do, but um Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's still good. Especially this growl. Oh my god, this growl. Like for real, this growl though. This growl is really good. So yeah, the, the, the offensive play style is pretty much just going in as a normal character and just spamming this grab off. And whenever the opponent gets a little too close to you, use the tilt, get some free, more free damage off. And if you're really good with uh, Maxman, you can actually switch your character to somebody else and get some more damage off. Uh, and just and whenever the opponent gets a little bit low, use your fire control or jitsu to uh, get some more damage off, and that's the offensive playstyle of Masked Man. It takes a lot of skill to do this because it's much harder than what I'm saying. Because you still got to serve your subs, you can still gotta play uh, play smart and save your subs and everything like that, and not use your air combo because your air combo is trash. But yeah. Now that the, that the defensive play, play style with Toby, not Toby, Mask Man, it's pretty much using him as a support character, and this does involve using the old, the other juice would be Heaven and Earth Explosion Burial. Whether you can use this to get out, like if I'm fighting with, if I'm with Mar, I can use the, my support to actually get out, or using um, just using Mask Man whenever your subs get low, so you can actually push him away with your tilt and then get back. And then whenever they get a little bit too close, you can just use the grab to push them away. But that's the defensive play style. So there's either way you can fight with those two. Like, there's, there's either way. And that kind of just depends on the person that's playing Masked Man. But yeah, he's a really fun character. Takes a lot of skill though, but once you get good with him, oh, it's, 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 it's magnificent. It's, it's beautiful. Like, you can, you, you can completely wreck your opponent. Like, I have been wrecked by probably around, I don't know, if I had to say, probably about 10 mass mans, and they're really good, like, they, they, they're they really good, but yeah, that's just how you play them, so if you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe for more Beginning Master Tutorials, make sure to see what else you want me to do for the next episode, my name is Will, thank you for watching, I'll see you guys uh, next time.